right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World and on Blue Devil. What we have going on today is a video someone sent me of a rapper that goes by the name of Swifty Blue. If you don't know who that is, that's a Mexican-American rapper from the city of Los Angeles. I guess he did an interview with Bule Kev, and he's talking about Southside politics. So check this out. Before we get to that video, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you uh, hit the like button. Make sure you guys go hit the bell. Make sure you guys subscribe. And most importantly, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Because at the end of the day, the world keeps spinning as my revolver keeps turning. And I'm going to do what I have to do regardless. And to all my day ones, I salute. You guys already know nothing but love. But check this out. This video right here should be special to a lot of you motherfuckers. I get a lot of comments down below asking why I don't make videos on Mexicans, why I only do videos about blacks, why am I speaking on, on the culture that doesn't belong to me, I'm a culture vulture, check this out, I've heard it all, and none of it bothers me, I don't give a fuck, I am from the culture, I'm from the gang culture, that's why I speak about it, because I know about it, alright, so check this out, if you guys send me a video about a Mexican rapper, then I'll do the, the reaction on that, if you send me a video of WAC 100, then I'll do a video about that. So quit your complaining, quit your crying, and send me the fucking video you want me to react to. If you don't send me nothing, shut your ass up. That fucking simple. But check this out. This is another thing that I want to address. A lot of you motherfuckers out there are talking about that I'm making videos about politics that I shouldn't be talking, that I don't know nothing. Let me give you game real quick to all you dumb motherfuckers out there. Real game politics are not fucking spoken about on YouTube. Okay, real gang politics, you will never know about because they won't make it to YouTube. The only thing that makes it to YouTube is entertainment or politics for YouTube. Okay, real fucking gang politics are, are in, a, in a disclosed location with only a chosen few that are allowed to hear. So if I'm speaking about it or somebody else is speaking about it, guess what? They're not real politics. Because real gang shit that, that, that involves all kinds of real fucking uh, crime would not be uh, on social media. So get with the times, homie. That's why when motherfuckers leave those comments, I know you're just a kid or a goofy. But let's get to this video with no further ado. Shout out to uh, Swifty Blue. I don't know too much about him, but shout out. Let's, let's get to this. And thank you to whoever sent me the video for timestamping the exact spot where you wanted me to start playing the video from. I appreciate that shit, my boy. Let's get it. Let's get it. I guess this is where it starts. Let's go. The guys up north. I'm a white dude who did not grow up in Southern California. I grew up in Phoenix. So we have Mexican gangs, Mexican mafia. Nah, you're prison. Mexican. No, I'm saying. Nah, everybody thinks I'm a white dude. <laughs> nah, listen, my son's Mexican. But, <laughs> That's um, right. That's look. But no. obviously out there in the prisons, it's like the Mexican mafia, right? <laughs> out here, it's Southsiders, but it's like a real crazy beef between, is it, it's, it's the Norteños and the Southsiders, right? Yeah. Don't do it, Swifty Blue. Don't do it, Swifty Blue. You know the code. You know what time it is. You're in, from what I see and I've heard a little bit that I've heard, you're active. So you shouldn't be doing this. Do you motherfuckers think he's going to sing like a bird or do you think he's going to keep it to a minimum? Leave it down below in the comments. I really think, let me tell you what I think right now, just from looking looking at him. I think he's going to let, let Bule Kev get, get him, right? Trick him into speaking about things he shouldn't be speaking about. Once again, okay, real politics are left out for YouTube. But let's go. Oh. Well, you know what? There's just a lot of history behind it, and um, and you know how you know how it goes. Sometimes history tends to repeat itself, but um, it's toned down a lot. It's toned down a lot, but sometimes people can get disrespectful. You know, that's all it is. Like it, it's like the Bloods and the Crips. It's toned down a lot. You see them interacting, right? But sometimes it can be disrespectful. You know, like could you? That's not true, homie. And I'm gonna keep my. I'm gonna keep my reaction to a minimum here only because a lot of the things that are that are probably going to be said here also include me in a way okay and therefore you got to be very careful when speaking on something you're a part of because it's very easy to come back to haunt you later in the future okay 
So this might be very boring to for a lot of you people, okay? But let's go. Who ever see yourself doing a record with someone who's Mexican from Northern California? Not from the gang, but just a Northern California Mexican dude. I, I that can only happen if they sign off on it. Don't ask me who. Don't ask me how. But that can only happen if it, if if they sign off on it. And I don't mean the record labels. So let's go. A record with Baby Gas. I, I was going to say Baby Gas have, is fire. You know what? Okay, check this out. Like my upstate, my upstate southerners, Chito Ranas, the king of Sacramento. You know what I'm saying? He's from up north. Oh, shit. North Sac I don't know who that Chito Ranas guy is, but right now uh, uh, a short came up on my YouTube feed of him getting punked inside a courthouse. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but for some random reason, it just popped up. But let's go. Baby. You know what I'm saying? Northside King. You know what I'm saying? So he, so shit, we got Cuerno Chivo. You know what I'm saying? He's, yeah. from, he's, he's from up north, but he's a, he's a, 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 a up, upstate southerner. That's interesting. Upstate Sureño. Yeah, that's what, you know. So there's, you could be from Northern California and still be a south southerner. Yep. Well, it's like this. We got, we, we, we so big that we branched out everywhere. We got, we got homies everywhere, everywhere. You know, even out of state, right? Even and it's state. Uh, obviously that's more some prison shit, right? At least where it starts. It, where it, 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 it's always a white guy trying to ask questions he shouldn't be asking. It's just like Vlad TV, and you know why they do that? Because they're intrigued into our life. They're intrigued in what we're what we've been through. Let me give you guys a quick story time. I have an uncle that's just hardcore white guy. He's a school teacher, and. Uh, I don't want to really say what happened, but I was in an accident, you know, where it involved a gun. And uh, I was in the hospital, and when I got out, he was so happy to see me just to ask me about it. Just to hear the story on how it happened, who did it, what did I do in return, why they did it. I mean, he was just so intrigued, and this was a school, a white, a white guy school teacher who was married to one of my aunts. And it was a trip seeing that because... Nobody else from the family cared. All the Mexican people didn't care because, you know, either they've seen it before or heard about it. But this guy was just, he was from the suburbs. He was so intrigued about it. And I, re I remember that to this day. So every time I hear Vlad talk about it or this guy, I know it's because they're intrigued. But they shouldn't be asking these questions because they're sort of involving themselves into the drama and getting people caught up. You know, in the heat of the moment, you say things you shouldn't say. And get your ass busted because you're being recorded. You know, back in the day, we were afraid to take photos. I remember back back in the day, they would try to take a photo of me. And I'd be like, nah, get that shit away from me. Or pull out a camera or whatever. You know, and it was those those cameras that you, uh, you, you, uh, you roll it like that. It's like a disposable camera. Kids probably don't know about them nowadays. But they used to sell them at Walgreens for like 10 bucks and have like 20 photos in them. You know, they'd be like, hell nah, don't take a photo of me, don't record me, don't nothing. Because we were really active in some gang shit. And we didn't want that shit coming back to haunt us. Nowadays, it's the thing to do. Nowadays, it's the only way motherfuckers can validate you. Not before. Let's go. It's all everywhere. It goes from the prison to the streets. Right. Yeah, but, you know, like, shit. You go everywhere, you see homies, you see... Fucking LA has 13 jerseys, this, that. You see Colorado, Parkside Torreso. You mm -hmm. see the culture, you see the homies over there. That's way in Colorado. Um, what did you, what, did you see that? What, I mean, I'm sure you you saw it, everyone saw it, but what Wack was saying about how he never signed a Southsider? You know what? Wack, um, like, he's right. He's like, that, it, that's how it is. That's it's been, it's been, you know what I'm saying? It's been a lot of like, they run their own politics. We run our own. Let me tell you something about that whole whack 100 South Sider situation. It was just a question and he took it out of context and blew it up. You know, it turned into some little racial beef when it shouldn't have been. You know, whack could answer like, you know what, homie, respectfully, I would never sign a South Sider because my beliefs are different than yours. Plain and simple. Done. But you know, whack 100 always has to be the gangster and the top dog. You are, you are here and he, are, he is here. All because of his money. You know, so and and not only that, but the South Sider shouldn't have been asking either. He's an active South Sider. You know, when you're a non active, you know what? I'm not even going to say shit, but he shouldn't have been asking that. Okay, and Wack should have had, should have responded with a little bit more of respect. But let's go. Politics. It is what it is. I'm not mad at him. It just, 
the the way the the question was asked between him and, and the the homie that was talking, it was kind of like the way they asked the question and the way they got at each other. You know, obviously he's gonna answer a <laughs> yeah, certain way. Yeah. If it was me on the phone with Wack, I'm not gonna ask him, "Would you sign a Southside?" I don't give a fuck if you want to sign one. We don't want to sign to no blacks. Right. Southsiders do want. Guess I don't want to speak on that, but we don't. Wow, did he just really say that? Man, they're gonna soundbite this shit and fucking cancel this motherfucker. Speak for yourself, my boy. He says Southsiders don't want to sign the blacks. Speak for yourself. Okay, because I know a few Southsiders that were signed to black people. I don't want to put their business out there. I don't want to say who they were. But they were Southsiders that were signed to black people before. And gang-related black people. Bloods. Okay, so speak for yourself, my boy. Let me rewind it a few seconds because I just want to hear everything he's saying. It was kind of like the way they asked the question and the way they got at each other. You know, obviously he's going to answer a certain yeah, way. Yeah. If it was me on the phone with Wack, I'm not going to ask him, would you sign the Southside? I don't give a fuck if you want to sign one. We don't want to sign to no blacks. Right. Southsiders don't want, I guess, I don't want to speak on that, but we don't want to sign it. to no blacks. You know what I'm saying? Is that wow. because the prison shit is not a racist thing? It, it, Help it, me understand, because when you say that out loud, it, it, it sounds crazy. It, it, you know, Bule Kev right there is trying to fucking mark him out. You know that, right? He should be... Listen, these fucking interview motherfuckers, I know that's their job, and I respect them because they're out in the forefront trying to get everything out of you. But right here, he's pulling at Adam-22. And that other idiot, I'm going to call him an idiot right now, is being baited into this whole situation. Come on, my boy. Come on, my boy. You should be Swifty Blue. You should be smarter than this shit. And first of all, not be speaking about any kind of politics, Southside politics... On the internet. Now I know a lot of you motherfuckers going to be like. You're a hypocrite because you do it. No I don't. No I don't. I react to a fucking video that's in front of me. That's being spoken about on the internet. Okay. And I, and, it, and people are going to say. Well you, you, you do pol black politics. No I don't. No I don't. Those are not real black politics. They're just YouTube incidents. No the fucking difference. So I'm not a hypocrite. But. Swifty Blue is on here talking about things he shouldn't be talking about to a person he shouldn't be talking to to about. He shouldn't be telling this white guy our business. And this white guy shouldn't be asking him about our business. You know, so a lot of you fools out there, when you go on interviews, just know that you don't have to answer the question. You can answer any question you want, but when it comes about gang shit, you should just be quiet and skip the question. If you guys remember that Vlad TV Pee Wee Longway interview, let that be the blueprint for a lot of you gang motherfuckers out there. Let's go. Because like this, it's like this. It's like, I go to jail, I rock with my race. Mm -hmm. And? I eat with my race, I do things with my and? race. So it's like, I'm, I'm, here, I'm here, I conduct business, I do things with my race. You know, like, I... I Listen, fuck, poor dumb as fuck. You have to adapt to prison because you're going to prison. When you go to prison, you got to adapt. When you go to county, you got to adapt. Okay, you got to adapt because those are the rules that are there. You're not making the rules. Those are the rules that are there. When you're out here, it's not rules like that. Okay, and like I said, I don't want to speak too much about this. But when you're in there, you got to adapt. That goes for the white man, the Mexican man, the black man, the Chinese man, whatever. You got to adapt. Doesn't mean you got to carry those rules out here. Right? So let's go. We integrate and whatnot, but why would I have somebody in charge of my music career if, if I'm already programmed a certain way? I'm already institutionalized a certain way. Why would I? You get what I'm saying? That's just my mindset. So I'm Well, that's just stupid as fuck because if fucking Master P walked up to me and said, Hey, bro, I want to sign you. If the paperwork makes sense, let's do it. If the money makes sense, let's do it. I'm about to tell Master P, and the reason I picked Master P is because that motherfucker's still rich compared to all the other rappers from the 90s, and I fuck with Master P, so shout out. But check this out. I would say, let me see the paperwork. Let's do the math. If it works out, let's do it. I'm about to tell Master P, oh, nah, bro, I can't do it because when I go to prison, I don't fuck with the blacks. What the fuck? How does that make any sense? But we're not in prison, my boy. Yeah, but still, though, I'm just institutionalized. No, it doesn't work like that, bro. My homeboys ain't gonna feed me. My gang isn't about about my gang isn't about to make me rich. I'm still loyal to my gang. I still love my gang, but I gotta eat, and this opportunity came to, ar arose. 
How the fuck am I going to say, nah, I can't sign to you because you're black? Now, now, that to me is some racist shit. But I'm not calling nobody racist. Don't take my word for it. I ain't trying to start no shit. We just got out of some racist shit with American Cholo and, and uh, Adam 22. We ain't trying to be put back in that box. But I'm just calling it like it is. Let's go. No, we wouldn't do that. And and most of the homies would think the same way. I nah. They don't agree with what I say. Nah. Right. No, they wouldn't. I don't agree. And the gang of motherfuckers wouldn't agree, okay? Quit that shit, my boy. Sign with somebody... If they were unaffiliated, like let's say Diddy wanted to sign you to Bad Boy, um, like it, it, me personally, I'm not trying to sign. Me personally, I'm not trying to sign. I get somebody else sign and I and, and we do some business. Let's say Kodak but, Black. What is like? What did make you sniper game? We gonna get a little. We gonna get a little suede on there. You know what I'm saying? I'm rocking with them. It's all love. I will not go sign. But so are you saying that you wouldn't sign like, strictly because of their race? Or because I'm listen, that motherfucker is playing a game right now, bro. Let me rewind that shit and you guys listen to exactly what Bule Kevin said. He's trying to get this motherfucker to say something stupid. Let's rewind this. Uh, and, and we do some business. Let's say Kodak but, Black. What but is like, it? What did it make you gonna, sniper we, game? We're going to get a little suede on there. You know what I'm saying? I'm rocking with them. It's all love. I will not go sign. So are you saying that you would and sign it's like, strictly because of their race? Wow. Not gonna have it, and it's like this. We're going, to, we're going to negotiate the terms. We're going to make sure that it's like we, we have, it's like 50-50 control type shit. And nah. We're not going to, um, we're not going to give somebody else, let alone another race, full control. He said, I'm not going to give another race full control or, you know, sp you know, split my profits with them. What the fuck, bro? This motherfucker's going to get canceled. Listen, it's all about money out here. It's all about green. It's all about you know, if it makes sense. It's all about if the deal works. It ain't about if you're black, white, or Chinese. Out here, bro, we're we're all about making money. If it was about race, bro, he wouldn't be doing a song with Kodak Black. He wouldn't be doing rap. He he wouldn't be saying the N-word if it was about race. But it's not. It's about money. If the if Diddy hit me up like he said and the deal works, let's get to it. Plain and simple. Diddy ain't controlling my money the way he says, I'm not going to let another race control my money. He's not controlling your money because if the deal works, you're controlling your money and Diddy's controlling his own money. Diddy is controlling his percentage and you're controlling your percentage. But that's the problem nowadays. A lot of motherfuckers are stupid or dumb. They don't know and that's the reason why they fall off because they're dumb as fuck. Let's go. Okay. That's what it comes down to. But you, but, but you get what I'm saying? Like, it's not no disrespect. But it's just more like it just sounds crazy. It does loud. sound crazy. It sounds a little racist. But you know what? You know what? It though? sounds a lot of racist. No, but you know what? <laughs> I, I'm just being honest. I'm being real. I'm You're being real. stupid. Like, I'd rather go sign with like, <laughs> even though you think, even though you like, you might hear crazy shit, but I'd rather go sign with like a, a corrido label or something. You know, like some. I, I'm gonna keep it to the roots. I'm. You hear what I'm saying? Like if, if they wasn't fucking us with, with us back then, why they fucking with us now? Because now we breaking in, we doing shit. Now they gonna want to sign us. Yeah, right, right, fuck right, all right. that. Now. Somebody take the microphone from this fucking guy. Now they want to sign you because now you're hot. Of course, motherfucker. They want to sign you before because a lot of Mexican rappers back then were garbage. Now you talk like them, you act like them, you walk like them. Everything, bro. So, of course, now you might as well be them. Somebody take the microphone from this guy, bro, before he crucifies himself. I'm going to give this shit a few more minutes because this fucking video is long as shit already. We're gonna do what we know best, you know what I'm saying? But that's just me, and I'm from like, I'm from LA, I'm from out here from the street. Hypothetically, Kanye West wants to sign you to good music. <laughs> it's, a, it's a no. Well, I'm gonna be like, look, we got Sway and Peso. <laughs> like, check it out. <laughs> them little dudes fools doing more numbers than me. Kanye, fuck me. We got them on the Nah, he wants you. I'll be like, nah, man. So that's you're, you're you're a no. Yeah, I can't do it. That fool's a fucking goofball. I don't think he's. I don't think he means what he's saying. I think he got caught up in the whole South Sider shit that he wants to prove to the, to the South Side that he's loyal. That's what I think it is. I don't think he really means he wouldn't sign. Who the fuck wouldn't sign to Kanye? If the money is right, Kanye ain't gonna about to give you some quarters. At least I don't think so. So come on now. Let's see what else this Goofy got to say. And I'm only calling him a Goofy on the shit that he's saying. Not on his character or who he is or what the, or what gang he's from. I'm calling him a Goofy on the shit that I'm listening to right now. Let's go. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, 
Do you work with black artists? Yeah, I do, but it's it's different though. Like most of the time, yeah, I like we don't have no. You know, it's not like we signing anybody. We don't have no full commitment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we could work. With Shut up. Like records with black artists. Yeah, man. We got yeah. hell yeah. All right, so, so I just, I just want to make. I'm not, I got black. I got I'm trying black. to. I'm trying to make you sound less racist. Yeah. How you're sounding? No, <laughs> man. It's just. <sighs> it sounds bad what you're saying. Shut, shut the fuck up, my boy. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. Just say next conversation, cause you're looking like a fucking fool right now. Serious shit. So listen, when you're in prison, you said, look, I'm institutionalized. This is what it is. Obviously, you've done a lot of time, right? You've been I, enough time. Just you've been in, to, you've to done make enough, up my mind. You've done enough, done enough time, time to make up my mind. <laughs> to, when you're in, when you're incarcerated in California, yeah. the Mexicans are with the Mexicans. Black people are in this Southern California, right? Yeah. So it's a little different. So black people are locked up with. Usually, do they politic with? Don't say, like, don't say it, don't say it. Don't say it. He's about to sing like a bird. You see that? And you motherfuckers say that I politic on here? Are you serious? All I do is react to a fucking video. I hope you don't say it. Because uh, Kevo or whatever his fucking name is. I was going to say Batman Kevo. Bule Kevo is already baiting him so much right now. He asked him. What did he ask him? Let's go back. Let's go back. In, when you're incarcerated in California, yeah. the Mexicans are with the Mexicans. Black people are in Southern California, right? Yeah. So it's a little different. So black people are locked up with, usually do they politic with... It's like this, look. Is it the others? The, it's, it's, it's the... There's the others. Yeah, they got the others, the brothers. And, and, like and, 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 and the Southsiders. Yeah, exactly. Like Indian, whatever. And, 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 then, and then the... the um, the whites the and the woods, Mexicans the woods, run, the woods the Southsiders they run with the Southsiders so, so while you're in prison you're running with the the woods the Pecker Woods the wood, yeah we run together the woods run to where shit crack off like you know what I'm saying listen this isn't nothing new this isn't something that we don't already all know right but leave it for the birds my boy let everybody else speak on it you don't gotta be explaining to this fucking white guy the way you run your politics in prison Serious shit. They should already. He, Kev already knows the fucking answer. He's just baiting you to fucking look like a goofy right now. Let's go. Stick together. Okay. So when you're in jail, you're a li you're a li you're alliance with the white guys, right? That's like your your your. Okay. So you're saying some of that is. But, uh, but that has not. Uh, it but, just, but I just want to make sure that is that crazy racist I'm shit is rubbed gonna, off on I'm you. I'm just not going. <laughs> it sounds like you with the white guy. Yeah, that's how we are. But yeah, hanging out I, with guys with swastikas on their neck. No, take it out. <laughs> and, and I have none against the black man. This last time I was in in the LA County, I was in a Hoover dorm. Man, I was I was uh, and it's a mutual dorm. Right. <laughs> Once again, don't say it. Once again, don't say it. Cause right here. If this fucking guy says that he was sharing with the black people, even though, listen, I ain't got a problem with that, but like I said, when you go to prison, the rules are beyond me, right? But if he says he was sharing with the black people, if he says he was playing games with the black people, if he says he was shaking hands with the black people, they're going to call this guy back to his hood. And that's as far as all I'm going to say. Let's just hope he don't get himself into a wreck right now. Say that versus a mutual norm. So there was no, there was no empty bunks on the south side, on the south side, on the racks. So I had to get a bunk. Uh. The empty bunks were on the Hoover racks. You know what I'm saying? On the black racks. And shit, I had no problem with it. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you have no pro. Listen, this motherfucker needs to get off the mic. He might not have a problem with it, but other people do. Unless he got signed, unless they signed off on it. If nobody knows about this, he's going to catch some heat behind this. I'm going to kill it right here. I, he, he said enough. Okay, he said enough. Uh, I hope, I really hope that he didn't say the things that he did, but he did. Okay. You guys be the judge of this and leave it down below in the comments whether he came off racist or he didn't. And I don't want people to say that I'm dry snitching because this video is out on the internet. Open game for anybody to watch. And react to. So leave your comments down below. Leave your two cents. I want to see all my, my Mexican homies. My black homies. I want to see my white homies. I want to see everybody down at the bottom. 
give me your two cents on this bullshit. For me, I didn't like it at all. I think this young man's confused. I think he don't understand the difference between prison and and and, uh, and home. Okay? Two different things. In prison, you got to adapt. You got no choice. Out here, you got a choice. But I think this young man is confused or he's trying to have that gang persona uh but he's bringing it out he's he's it's rubbing off the wrong way if that makes any sense but uh other than that you know i'm not gonna hate on the brother go listen to his music swifty blue i, I don't know just type it up in the youtube i guess i don't know what songs i really don't listen to it but salute to him anything i said disrespected my bad but that's exactly how i felt and i speak nothing but the truth here on the hater world so other than that, if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, uh, comment down below your two cents. Most importantly, follow me on Instagram at the Hater World. Very simple, the Hater World. And uh, this has been uh, Hater World Production on Blue Devil, and we out.